This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Now, as you guys know, that there is a Kickstarter going on for Maladum, uh, Dungeons of Everton. Um, I mean, if you played Core Space, then you know what I'm talking about. And uh, Core Space is just amazing, and it follows the same rules. And it's from one of the best companies out there today. And if you're looking to get away from GW st stuff, you should take a look at this battle system stuff, because the terrain, the thought, how the, the stuff plays out is really amazing. Well, today, you know, because of that um, uh, coming out, uh, which got me excited, I said, you know something, maybe it's time to bring everything for core space back to um, the, back to the uh, house here and revisit it and get some of the stuff. And I didn't realize how much of this stuff I have. I have a ton of it. So what I want to do is I want to tell you why I'm revisiting it. I want to go down, show you some of the figures I've already painted and what we have planned going forward for Core Space. And then we'll talk more about it on the other side of this. One of the most incredible things is you get this nice neoprene map with it, which really, really helps things out. And you're going to be putting together all these kind of cardboard things. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole thing set up because I have it taken apart. But I, I, I do want to show you just some of the, the neat little pieces that you're going to get with it. You're going to have little blockades and then, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, you're going to have these little boxes that you're going to be searching out. And inside the boxes, you never know what's going to be in there because you're going to randomly draw some of these treasures. And that's half the things of finding it is how these treasures are going to fit in there. Now, now some of them don't tear that well and you got to be careful when you're taking them apart. But they're going to have different stats that are going to help you. And it may be better than what you already have because your character is going to be running off of this this whole this whole system here and what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to fit things into the slots here okay so as much as you can fit in the slot is as much as you can carry and some things will be bigger there'll be bigger things in here that that you could possibly like a two-handed rifle uh, here we go uh, a two-handed rifle well that would go in that slot and take up two slots is it worth carrying that or is it worth carrying extra things in certain things and you're going to level up and you're going to have certain types of things that you're going to be able to do and it's just a fantastic fantastic system but as you're going through you're going to randomly put stuff in there and you're going to hide it in there and you're going to come you're going to take your miniatures and you're going to walk around and then you're going to try to open up these boxes and see what you get and you're going to try to loot as much as you can before the other guy uh before the other team because uh, you know there are two different teams that are going to be facing off against each other which we're going to show you in in, in detail the the uh the, the scenery is ridiculous again uh, I don't do it justice here, but I'm telling you right now, this is just something that you're really going to want to check out. The rule book, you get a huge rule book, and, and you can see all this stuff is going to be set up a certain way, and it's all three-dimensional. That's what Battle System does better than anybody, is they give you, and here it is. Here's some of it now. And that's how it looks, folks. It's uh, there, There's no joke here. This is just very, very serious and down, you know, just really gives you a lot of feel there's plenty of expansions for this to take this in different ways as you can see uh setup can take a little long but it's it's well worth it um once you've got it set up make sure that you know you get a couple games in there the miniatures are ridiculous and and, and i forgot that i painted all these guys um and I, I actually did some 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 a, a little bit of different stuff. I actually used a paint marker with some of this so I can get that metallic feel to it. Uh, as you can see, some of the dudes here, um, just really really unique and different types of aliens. Um, it was so much fun to paint this, 
and paint our heroes up. You know, adequate job. Just want to get them to the table. Um, but but the aliens uh, um, were just a ton of fun. And you're going to see exactly what we're talking about when we get this to the table. Uh, it gives you uh, quite a bit to start with, but there are so many expansions, and this is why I'm revisiting this. You know, uh, you know, we talk about Kill Team and, and this, that, and the other. When there's games out here like this that just give you so many different options, it's affordable, it's fun, and it gives you a better experience, a game experience is what we're looking for. There are hundreds and hundreds of different types of weapons and things in here. Uh, this is just, you can hear it loaded to the gills. Um, replayability is through the roof. Again, like I said, one of the best games that you're ever going to play. Beautiful in so many ways. Uh, and, and I can't wait to show you the full feel of this. There's some really great videos by Gaming Geek. Uh, a dude that, that really did a great job showing you guys this. Um, probably the best video out there. Um, some of them are just not very good. But I think he did the best job of covering this. We're going to play this. This is a great company that does great things. And let's head up top and get on out of here. Well, there you have it, folks. Core Space, the sci-fi miniature game. Why I'm revisiting it and uh look for us to to really cover this in detail uh you know you forget how much stuff you paint sometimes you just paint it and put it away and you know after you play it and then you realize oh my god i have all this stuff but there are a ton of expansions for this that i've painted up and this is just such an interesting story how you know you're two renegade um uh units and then of course you've got these these uh, uh, robots that have taken over the entire galaxy in the middle of this and you're trying to do everything before things get out of control and that's where half the fun of this game really starts off and really takes off so uh, again i hope you enjoyed this and look for more core space coming here on rob's tabletop world until next time.